Hi YouTube, this is Danko Kaji, Deborah Zlatarov, and this is my Ritual Beast deck profile. So first we have our three first Ritual Beast Tamer Elder. He's your main combo guy with the Kana Hawk. Then we have two Ritual Beast Tamer Laras for mid-game plays because they can bring something from the grave. Masters. And then you have Ritual Beast Tamer Wen, good for late game plays, since she can special summon from Banishment. Then we have our three Kana Hawks. Spiritual Beast, there we go. Kana Hawks combos with Elder pretty well. You have three Ritual Beast Rampangus, two of them are super rare. And uh, if you don't have the Kana Hawk, then the Elder with Penguin goes pretty well together, too. That's an alternative. Two uh, Spiritual Beast Apelios. And then two Spiritual Emergency Teleport Special Summons the Tamers, and they have to activate their effects by being normal summons. So that's the drawback. It's more like a last resort if you need to immediately special summon into something. And then three Mystical Space Typhoons, pretty simple. Pop stuff. You got a Quill Pen of Gul'dos in case you don't have um, easy access to Emerald. So targets two wind monsters in your grave and you can target one card on the field shuffle your two wind monsters from grave to the deck which is nice and then you can bounce yeah you can bounce back the, the third card you target people hate that card plus it's a cousin of the elder tamer thingies like the tamer cards because this is from um whatchamacallit gustos and then we have one instant fusion for the um, elder norden combo play. Then we have one soul absorption, so every time you banish you get the heal life points. Stall for days. Then you have one dimensional fissure, because you want to banish your monsters more than send them to grave. Easier plays that way. Plus, your opponent will hate you. And the gold sarcophagus, so you can just banish any ritual beast card and have immediate access to it when you're doing your defusions, if you don't have Kana Hawk in hand. And as for traps, you have your default three Ritual Beast Steeds. Because they don't target, so they can't negate it if it doesn't target. And then you have two Ritual Beast Ant Bushes, Special Summons from Grave and Banishment to Defense Position, a Ritual Beast Tamer, and a Spiritual Beast. And then Macro Cosmos to combo with Dimensional Fissure. Torrential Tribute, I I prefer this over Dark Hole because then when your opponent like summons a monster, you activate this and then you can defuse to chain and your monsters are saved, but there's not. And then Ultimate Providence, I just simply threw that in there because guess what? It has a Ritual Beast in it. It's actually relevant. Plus it's a really good card. You can just negate any effect if you have the corresponding card to discard. And then Paradox Fusion, which is a really nifty techie card because um, when your opponent like activates uh, an effect, you can just banish the um, a ritual monster you have, not a ritual, sorry, the um, fusion monster you have on field. To negate it and then I believe by your second standby you can bring it back or second end phase so it's, it's pretty cool and then solemn warning just to negate summons and then bottomless travel to banish and then for the extra deck you have these two or this one which is ritual beast old Gaia palio 
I just love having both on field, like regularly summon one, because you don't need to regularly summon two to use this effect. But have a second one to ritual be spawned, then they can overlay for like the uh, dreadnought super dunker cannon thingy. Instant OTK. Then you have three ritual beast ulti apelio. Yeah, the ulti apelio, kind of like your star eater, cannot be affected by effects. Run them at three. And then you have two ritual beast ulti petal fins. Cannot be destroyed by card effect, but they can be run over. Decent card. And one well, ritual beast ult icon hop because that's the only card that got limited. And then we have Elder Entity Norton for the instant fusion. So for X seeds, I have Super Dreadnought Real Cannon Gustav Max. And this is the overlay with Gaia Pelios. So when you like attack with both Gaia Pelios and negate effects, then you can just overlay for this guy. Go for a 2000 hit. Could almost guarantee an OTK. And then you have Lightning Chidori. Best card next to that Gusto Emerald because you need him to shuffle stuff back in to your deck to do more searches. Then you have Castell, the Sky Blaster Musketeer, Gaga the Cowboy, and just because it's a relative, that Gusto Phoenix. And that concludes my Ritual Beast deck profile.